Now, before I tell you why you shouldn't come here, I do want to tell you guys the good things about Da Nang and why I like it and why I did stay for three months and why I came back. Mind the helmet here. Number one is the people. The people here are so nice. I remember one time I got hit by a car and so many people stopped just to help me. Um, mostly in the West, people just watch for entertainment or film, but the people literally helped me. Hey man, it's me. <laughs> the next thing I'm about to tell you guys is that the cost of living here is really good. It's low. So, you know, if you're a digital nomad starting out, Da Nang is definitely the place for you. I even recommend here over Chiang Mai anytime. Um, as well as that, if you're retired, I don't even know if retirees can get a retired visa here, but if you can, the cost of living here is really low. It's always good to live in a place where the cost of living is low because you can save more money, invest more. You don't have to worry about high paying bills, rent. So that stress that's on your back is gone. Because usually beach towns cost a lot of money to live in due to tourism and all that. So Da Nang is really perfect for that. Another thing that's really cool, ginger tea is actually made out of ginger tea. Orange juice is actually made out of orange juice. Here in these cafes and these restaurants, they use a lot of fresh stuff, which is really good. That's hard to see in the West and even in some places in Mexico too. Usually if they're run by Westerners, those restaurants and stuff, they'd be doing that. But here it's really good that they have a lot of fresh produce and it's just abundance of it, especially if you want to get healthy. Side note, here in Vietnam, they know how to make ginger tea taste good. Da Nang is pretty safe in the sense of the chances of you getting robbed or hold at knife point, gun point is, it's low. It is so low. Like nothing has ever bad happened to me here regarding something like that. Have people tried to scam me maybe once at the airport but and that was pretty much it. No one has tried to kill me, rob me. None of that stuff. So you will feel really safe here in Da Nang in that, in those terms, okay? Wait until I talk about the other one. And let's not forget the food. Oh my God, Vietnamese food is amazing. It is way better than Thai food. Oh my God, I'm so in love with Vietnam and the lion mushroom. Look how big it is. Just put some veggies on it. You eat it just like that, man. It's so good. Okay, so this is the one thing that is pretty dangerous in Da Nang, and it's the air quality. In Da Nang, the pollution levels, it is crazy. Now, before the burning season, when I arrived around November, I would say that the air quality is pretty good. But then it gets to a point where it's only the weekend the air quality is good. And I'm just like, this is coming exactly like Hong Ching Ming City. Or maybe the middle of the Nang's air quality is bad due to most of the traffic and the beaches, the air quality is a, more, a lot more cleaner. When it starts to come only two days a week, the air quality is good. That means it is everywhere in Da Nang. The locals are very unaware of this and so are the expats and digital nomads. They love telling me, oh no, it's the mist. And I'm like, bro, the mist makes it 10 times worse because it traps the pollution in. Other people say, oh, go to the beach and you get fresh air. And I'm like, are you guys, hello, common sense. Wind comes in from the beach, air pollution. So it keeps it in, it is everywhere. It is on the beach. That's how bad it is, it spreads out to the damn ocean. The mountains should be looking like this. You should see beautiful mountains surrounding you in Da Nang. Which you can when the air quality is clean. But when you see them like this, that means there is a problem and people need to recognize this instead of running away from it because then there will be a lot more solutions. After the New Year's and the Vietnam New Year's, the Chinese New Year's, whatever, it's really clean. Like, I remember driving around going, oh my God, the air is so beautiful. And I don't know if it was just because um, no one's riding as much or because, you know, it really is New Year's and everyone's getting a New Year fresh start. 
But then after that, it's literally like every day. It got so bad, even the weekends, it was polluted when I was there. It's not good for your health at all. Breathing in these PM2 levels into your immune system is not good. There's a lot of short-term effects, a lot of long-term side effects, and a lot of effects to your health, respiratory issues, tumors, cancers, a lot. And it's premature death. You know, you're not going to live a long, healthy life due to all this pollution that you're breathing in. Vietnamese people are pretty smart too. They know, especially the ones on the motorbikes, when you're on the road to wear a mask. But as soon as they get off that bike and they're somewhere where there's not a lot of traffic, but it's polluted, they do not have their mask. The difference between Thailand and Vietnam, I would say, is that Thailand knows that there's an air quality issue and they have air filters in majority of the buildings there. While Vietnam, there's still gyms that have their windows open, doors open, while the air quality is really bad and PM2 is spiking through the roof, which means this goes into the buildings and people are working out breathing it in so it's really hard to escape in vietnam this really bad air pollution i literally left chiang mai came to da Nang, hoping for clean air quality and unfortunately i did not get it it was horrible now if you're someone that don't care about your health you don't care about premature death you don't care about having respiratory issues, then Da Nang is perfect for you. But for people that really do care about their health, Da Nang unfortunately just does not hit that list. Throughout the year after the burning season, I'm sure Da Nang is good. I don't know personally because I have not been there during those times of the year. I've only been there in November, December, January, February, March, that's it. I definitely recommend going to Da Nang when the burning season's over because you really get to experience Da Nang without risking your health. You really get to see the true beauty, the mountains, the environment when the air is clean. It's just so much better. Like who wants to go on a trip and you can't see the mountains because there's all this damn smoke. So due to all this, I decided to escape Da Nang and go to Nang Trang. See if the air quality was better there. And I was surprised. If you want to find out what happened, make sure to hit the subscribe button with notification. I am going to upload a video showing you guys my first impression on Nan Tra. So this is like mochi, a really powered one. It's a um, yeah, mochi taste says mango curry. It tastes good? No. Yeah. I like that one. Yeah. Yeah.